Added costs at Orlando's VA Medical Center have been a controversial topic for years. Now, Washington is working on a plan to keep a closer eye on projects that are running behind. West News Marina Morocco talked to a local congressman about whether he thinks this will work. At least four VA medical centers under construction are behind schedule and hundreds of millions of dollars over budget. One of them is the campus here in Orlando. At plain sight, the VA hospital in Lake Nona looks like it's ready for business. But a new federal government report from Washington, D.C. says it's one of four VA medical centers over budget and running behind. The government is, uh, is sometimes uh, runs out of control, doesn't do things as efficiently as the private sector. Thousands of change orders cause uh, the delay. And then, again, uh, problems with the economy and our, our situation, some of uh, the subcontractors that uh, went, went uh, under. Orlando, Las Vegas, Denver, and New Orleans are the four centers behind schedule for completion. Some could take an extra three years to complete and need an extra $366 million per project. The House has passed a bill to increase oversight on the construction and appoint a project manager. I'm not sure if it will uh, resolve all the problems, but it does put in place a mechanism to streamline some of these processes that have been identified as uh, the root of the, the delays. Despite the delays, Congressman John Micah says the project is 95% complete and already showing signs of progress. They plan to start moving furniture in. They've turned over a number of the floors already uh, to VA. So um, you, you, we can finally see the uh, light at the end of the tunnel on the project. The projected completion date is still slated for December, although the hospital would not see its first patient for another 90 to 120 days after then. For now, reporting in Orlando, Marina Morocco, West 2 News.